Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of the Ohio Guys. I'm Christian Ocampo here in Los Angeles, California. And today I'm joined by GK Bowles. How are you doing, GK? I'm doing very well. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it's a pleasure. So we have a few questions to ask you. Okay. First of all, what's it like working in the industry today? Uh, the industry's changed a lot. It's been, um, these days it's very celebrity driven. So normal people like me who aren't celebrities, <laughs> unfortunately, don't get to do uh, you know a lot of the big like major films that a lot of the celebrities get to do. But we still get like the you know the fun video games and animated series and um, commercials and things like that. So it's a lot of fun. There's still a lot of work out there for us normal people. So it's good. <laughs> All right then. So what's your favorite show or video game you have worked on? Let's see, um, I, there's so many. One of the favorite ones that I'm working on right now is Do Ra Wa Ra. I love uh, voicing Mairu Orihara. She's a lot of fun. I call her my spirit animal. She's just, she's awesome. Um, she's everything I wish I was in high school. <laughs> um, let's see, what else? Uh, the Minecraft story mode game. Uh, that's a fun one, and what else? There's a lot of fun stuff coming out. Um, Melinda the Mermaid on Doc McStuffins on the Disney Channel. Um, got to do a little bit of work on the new Disney series, The Lion Guard. So yeah, Disney's, um, Disney's coming out with some fun stuff that I've been able to be a part of, so that's been exciting. Good. So what was it like working on Dynasty Warriors? Dynasty Warriors was very special. Dynasty Warriors, Samurai Warriors, that series was very special to me because that those were some of my very first jobs in the industry. And, um, you know, I love Koei and all of the stuff that they do, and they've been a lot of fun to work with. Uh, those characters are fantastic. Um, Kunoichi uh, will always have a special place in my heart because she was the very first character that I did for them. In the Samurai Warrior series and in the Dynasty Warrior series, I do uh, Sunshang Zhang. All right. I still don't play them though, I'll be honest. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay, it's okay. <laughs> All right, but there is a series I have seen that you really mentioned. What was like working on Durara, the second season? Yes, yeah. Um, Myra shows up at the very end of the first season. I think she's only like in one or two episodes. And in this season, she has a lot more going on. She has, you know, a lot, she's a, a larger part of the story. She and her sister and her brother. and. Um, it's just such a fun, <laughs> it's such a fun series, it's such a fun cast, um, even though we don't get to see each other very much, um, you know, because kind of how it is in the voiceover world, it's a very, it's all, it can be a very lonely job because you're working by yourself, but at the same time, when you know who the other actors are, and in anime, it's all done to picture, so you hear the other actors' voices and you get to act, you know, you get to uh, respond to them, and uh, that can be a lot of fun. You don't get to do that with traditional animation. So, another, well, not series, but movie you worked on was like working on Bleach, Memories of Nobody. That was my very first job in anime. And um, I, you know, I was very fortunate to work with Wendy Lee, who she was the director on that. And she was very patient with me <laughs> because I had never done it before. Um, so that was a very, very special uh, project that I got to work on. And, um, you know, Cine, playing Cinna was just huge. That was actually also the first job that I did where my parents actually got an idea of what it was that I was doing for a living. <laughs> because I was, before I became a voice actress, I was a microbiologist and molecular geneticist. Oh, wow. And, you know, so when I decided to do voiceovers, my parents were just like, wait, what? What are you, do what are you doing? And like, no, no, it's a real job, I promise. And when that came out in theaters, my parents got to see it. And they were like, okay, okay, we get it. Our daughter's legit and <laughs> she's she's really working and so that that um that particular project uh that made my parents get what it was that i was doing so that was that was a, a huge blessing that's good though very <laughs> that's all right so if there's any character you have played in real life who we be and you can mix and match Ooh, i love Asuka from uh, Street Fighter vs. Tekken. 
She's badass. Um, and I also love Myru. I probably want to be a combination of those two. Uh, I mean, they're both, you know, they're both a lot of fun. And um, I love Asuka. She's just, I mean, they both, they're, they're very similar, just kind of free spirited and, uh, you know, they don't take a lot of crap. So, I mean, I wish I had more of their gumption. <laughs> I would like to do, I don't, I don't want to always have my life in peril, but <laughs> I wouldn't mind having some of their skills. Another series you worked on while well, I was working on Saints Row 2. Oh yeah, that was a lot of fun. Um, unfortunately, I, d I only got to do Saints Row 2. I wish I had gotten to do some of the other ones, but that character, that character um, was interesting. <laughs> I mean, the, the team, the Saints Row team, was so much fun to work with, and yeah, it was, it was sad that I didn't get to work with them on on uh, Saints Row the Third or the consecutive games. But working on that one. Um, allowed me to explore like my gangster side that I didn't know I had <laughs> so you know all acting jobs you know it's an acting job but it was it was fun to be able to explore that and and be kind of that that bad gangster type person that just you know is dropping the f-bomb every three seconds and like beating everybody up and talking about stripper poles and that was that was fun <laughs> such a violent game oh my gosh yeah so another fine series that you worked on, and that's also my favorite. What was that working on? Berserk. Berserk was uh, was a lot of fun. That was just I mean, I'm kind of at a loss for words for that one because that was just uh, it kind of came out of nowhere. I had never heard of the series before I started working at it, working on it, and um, you know it's a company out of New York uh, that did it, and um, the character that I played, I ended up replacing another actress who didn't want to do it anymore. So I voice matched her and, and ended up doing it um, there. And I, I didn't, I mean, it was huge. I didn't realize like how much of a, a, a fan base Berserk had. And um, it was such a, you know, such a neat family to all of a sudden be a part of. So it was a lot of fun. It was, it was very unexpected. Like I said, it was just such a surprise. It came out of nowhere. But um, it was, uh, you know, it was, it was a lot of fun to work on because, you know, just the team, in, you know, behind it, and uh, the directors, and um, all of the other actors, and it's, it was, yeah, I was so, so surprised that it was as hugely as popular as it is. Yeah, it was really fun. Love that series, the <laughs> <and> movies, <laughs> despite what people say. Yeah, I mean, the artwork is, oh my god, it's beautifully drawn, and, you know, <laughs> there were, <laughs> yes, there's some questionable scenes in there that my children will not be watching, um, <laughs> But it's so tastefully done. I mean, the artwork is spectacular. I don't have to tell you that. And, and you just, I think that's one of the reasons why it has such a great fan base. I mean, the stories are fantastic, but it's, it's just, it's so beautiful, the, the um, you know, the art and the animation. And uh, so it's, it's definitely a thrill to be a part of. All right, good. So is there anything else coming out that you can talk about or anything you want to plug in at this time? Let's see. Um, I think I mentioned, yes, I did mention the, uh, the Minecraft story mode game, which is a lot of fun. Um, such a, you know, that's another exciting game that uh, I love being a part of. And uh, I mean, get to be in there, like I get to share credits with like people like Patton Oswalt and Corey Feldman and uh, Martha Plimpton. And you know, I don't, I don't get to see them when we're working, but it's fun to be part of the game that they're in. Um, what else? Hmm. Yes, you'll hear me um, in uh, Lion Guard on Disney Channel. Um, oh, a, a game that just came out recently is um, Metal Gear Solid, The Phantom Pain. You'll, yeah. You can hear me die about 47 different ways in that game. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was a lot of fun to work, work on. Um, I'm trying to think, what else? What else is coming out that I can talk about? I mean, you know, we live our lives under these constant NDAs, so. Let's see. Hmm. That's probably about it. Oh, I, in a fun animated feature that's coming out in 2016 called Norm of the North. Um, that stars, um, oh gosh, I am, oh, Heather Graham. And uh, the main character, Rob Schneider is the main character. He plays the polar bear. And uh, so yeah, I mean, it's fun. Uh, Ken Jeong is in it. Um, so yeah, I get to be in a movie with Ken Jeong. I'm so excited. And of course, again, never got to see him. But you know, hey, we're in the same movie. Um, 
What else? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of fun stuff, but you know, it's always, <laughs> hopefully I can talk about them soon. All right, so we have one last question. Any Facebook, Twitter, or any other social media for the fans to get a hold of you? Oh, yes, I'm very active on Twitter. You can just find me there uh, at GK Bose. And uh, on, Instagram, on Instagram, I try to take a lot of like fun behind the scenes pictures with other actors and stuff like that. Um, and just on there is GK Bose. Um, Facebook, I'm kind of active on Facebook. You can follow me if you want, it's okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, really, I, I'm super active on Twitter and uh, on Instagram. And I'm very active with my fans. I like to interact a lot. So yeah, if you tweet at me, I will respond. All right. Well, we want we want to thank you for joining well joining me for an interview. Absolutely, this was a lot of fun. It was. And to the fans, I want to thank you for joining us for another edition of the Ohio Guys. I'm Christian Ocampo. GK Bose. And we'll see you all next time. Bye.